I go to the movies. Dumb movies is what I go to. And, uh, yeah. And it was at the, the Regal. And it was a movie I've been looking forward to since all the way back before the pandemics. And it has finally come out. And it is called This Place Sure Is Quiet. The sequel. And I liked it very much. <laughs> I thought this movie was great. Yeah. So they they do a little intro that's like a prequel to the first movie for a little bit. And then, you know, they do the rest of the movie. So, uh, spoilers. If you've seen the first movie, there's spoilers that the dad character dies. He is presumed dead. And so how's he going to be in the sequel? Well, you have to do a flashback. So they do the... They do the little flashback and uh, they kind of show the initial attack of the sound-hating creatures and they don't tell us anything about it, about them, <laughs> other than they come from outer space. Like it's a meteor or a craft of some sort, we don't know. So, so yeah, but we don't find out anything more about these creatures. They do show them a whole lot in this movie. And, I don't know, I, I'm not too impressed with the design of the creatures so much. I mean, it's cool, I like it, but there's too many of these alien things that they do where the face opens up and it's, you know, so I don't know. I just kind of, they kind of looked like small Cloverfield monsters mixed with, uh, I was getting some venom. It's like venom from this, that Spider-Man universe movie entitled venom. <laughs> so, I was getting those kind of vibes, like it's a mix between those two things. I mean, there was some stuff that they did really well. I'd like it, I liked it like when there's the deaf girl and everything goes silent. That's, that's great. And then whenever a hearing person would touch her, suddenly you get sound. Or it's like the monster would be coming up in the background but she wouldn't know about it. like it. You'd see it out of focus in the background and be like, oh man, <laughs> that sort of thing. But, so, they kind of do, like the big, the big thing everybody made fun of in the first movie was these things don't like water because it's too noisy or whatever, and it, it makes it hard for them to hear where things are coming from. So they do not like the waterfall. So you could go to the waterfall and talk. Wait, and everybody's like, why don't you just go live at the waterfall? <laughs> but they kind of make it so that's not as big of a, a deal, apparently. Maybe waterfalls are just constant and they're more powerful than what they had going on or something, but I don't know. There's things that happen, like in all movies. But, uh, so here's the complaint I have about this movie. The girl's hearing aid battery. <laughs> this is, like you learned in the last movie, this is like a super weapon that can, that changes, that can turn the tide of the battle against the aliens and all that. So, but... Here's the thing. Those batteries don't last that long. I know for a fact. Because of where I work. <laughs> and so... It's just unrealistic. I mean, even if you, you say she has a charger, she's able to charge it or replace the little batteries 
but it's a, it's like a cochlear implant and so it looks like this this battery and they kind of twist on the thing but so <laughs> and those usually you could you put them on a charger you twist them onto this charger and charging dock sort of thing but here's the thing even if you say that that isn't going on in this movie there's no time or place to do this they're having to use fire for light you know for most of it and so just the amount of time in this movie let's say you start the movie with a full charge that it's not going to be it's not making it to the finale <laughs> so that's the flaw i see in that but i doubt anybody would really care you know but i thought she did a really good job i thought the mom character did a really good job the brother character did a really good job there's a new guy to take the place of the dad character in the movie. You meet him in the flashback. So, yeah. But I I really liked it. I thought it was really well done. They did a good job. And it was pretty cool. It was pretty intense. Had some cool little set pieces, places, places to go and stuff like that. But it moved at a pretty good pace. I didn't feel like it was uh, lagging or anything at any point. So the acting was good. The the sound design was really good. The I didn't think it, there was any, like, stupid dialogue or anything. So, all in all, I just think that The Quiet Place, number two, was a pretty good movie. I'm, I'm glad I finally got to see it. I'm glad I got to see it in the theater. So, yeah. Quiet Place, part two. Pretty awesome. <laughs>